Hey guys, Zulkardas here and welcome back to Moemon Emerald. And you may be wondering, what am I doing in Moss Deep? How did I even get to Moss Deep? What, what happened and why do I have... Esfiel. Where did I ever catch Esfiel? So, here is the thing. Uh, last episode... I actually recorded an episode where I went from Lily Cove to Mosdi, battled a bunch of trainers on the way. I cleared out the Mosdi gym. I was pretty surprised by the new puzzle, to be honest, because I never got this far in Emerald before. I'm completely in new territory. And I went north over here, went into Shawl Cave. Caught his feel, checked its stats in Bulbapedia, and did a lot of other stuff. It was a total 40 minute episode. And the fucking recording got corrupted. And unlike usually, when this thing has happened before, well, not exactly this thing, where I recorded an episode and halfway through I realized that the recording was invalid for whatever reason. Maybe I forgot to turn on my mic, maybe something was wrong with the sound, maybe I forgot to press the fucking record button. But unlike all those other times, this time, at the end of the episode, I decided it would be a great idea to save. And not once, twice. Effectively shutting off any chance I had of going back. So yeah. Uh, I went and did some changes to OBS setting, I think that's what was causing the problem. You remember the lag spikes I had in the past few episodes? I think it was due to OBS. Well, so yeah, hopefully this episode is going to be good. I am not going to s double save at the end of this. So what am I going to do this episode? I am going to battle Lisa and Tate. I'm also going to try and talk about a lot of stuff that I talked about in the previous episode but it's like Krishna said in the Mahabharat but I even I don't remember exactly what I said and the advice I gave back then and the stuff I said back then and even I may no longer be able to say it the same way so yeah this is the puzzle by the way it's pretty new for me At least it was new yesterday. But yeah, I'm going to try and repeat a bunch of what I said in the last episode. But I make no promises. One of the things I did last episode was reminisce about how far I've come. And how, how much the game has actually changed thanks to doing this Nuzlocke. What do I mean by that? I know that it may seem like I overreact in these episodes where things that seem to be no danger at all and I'm freaking out over them like Destiny Bond that one episode a few episodes back I freaked out over Destiny Bond and other times I freak out over stuff like self-destruct facing a particularly powerful in quotation marks Pokemon but one that has like very little in terms of level compared to my Pokemon and so it turns out that I one shot it even though I'm panicking and all this may make it seem like I'm hyping up stuff for the sake of drama I am not it may look like no big deal but I panic in almost every episode. I get really nervous before every important battle, even if it turns out that the battle was nothing at all. And I was just reminiscing about how much it changed the game. Normally, Pokemon would be normal Pokemon Nuzlocke from other YouTubers. 
it would be a matter of strategizing thinking of the best moves thinking of what to do in what situation how to not not make sacrifices how to keep everyone alive and if in the dire situation where someone has to die who to sacrifice not for me though because of how i really don't want any of my pokemon to die partly because guys like aero Z- not zatina sorry aero adi a and and who else died again there were oh yeah i remember how could i i forget the swablu because these guys died early on and i was really looking forward to pretty much all of them sam like adi and swablu more than others i became paranoid and over leveled the crap out of my pokemon so no one else has to die and thus it's no longer a game about what to do in the current situation but rather a game of being three steps ahead of the game like right now i predict i should be at a high enough level to deal with this and so far my prediction seems to be right and that is a clay doll and it is scaring me i am going to bite the zatu and the surf because surf is also super effective against the clay doll but yeah it became a game of thinking predicting the next bet the level of the next big battle predicting lisa and, and tate's pokemon's levels stuff like that and that is not good ooh okay that did a lot less damage than i was afraid it would bite the clay doll surf again and it became a game of thinking three steps ahead about what pokemon i should train up for the next big battle like this time i trained up dere who just hurt himself in confusion and ferix hmm i do want to heal dere and i will heal him heal her with the hyper potion meanwhile you keep surfing oh hyper potion okay i have 20 of those hyper potions i am in not much of a threat in all honesty and i can believe no i can believe they let the clay doll faint here we go soul rock one of their ace pokemon zatu used calm mind i do not like that yeah like this time i predicted that their levels you didn't see it last episode but i predicted that their levels would be around 45 or 46 for their strongest pokemon i overshot it but it seems better to overshoot these things than to think they are going to be at a lower level than they actually are uh oh sunny day ha huh? it's going to come out with a flame thrower i believe bite the soul rock rain dance to power up surf whiles and to get rid of the sand instead they had something set up also it became a game of thinking ahead of which moves i want my pokemon to have what tms to teach them it cha- really changed the game to one of training the right pokemon and doing the right thing at the right time to being three steps ahead of the game and staying ahead of the game i said this a lot more clearly in my previous episode but we all know how that have ended in ended up and how did you survive with 1 hp 
Nuraton must have starred you or something. Alright, that was easy. It was stressful, but easy. Now the next gym, the eighth gym, that is going to be the leader Juan, who has water and water moves and who has water type Pokemon and I'm pretty sure they also have ice type moves so I need to be really careful with them I think my main Pokemon against Joan oddly enough is going to be Ferix Sunder and Andromeda on backup because dragon type I don't need to train up Blaze yet I'll train up Sunder though also Calm Mind Calm Mind increases both special attack and special defense it might actually be a good move for no one no one can learn it I also was saying something about the spheal I caught so I caught a spheal in Shaul Cave and I want this to become a wall ring and I checked Bulbapedia wall ring is in almost everywhere better than Azumarill it's better in almost everywhere and with Andromeda covering for fire type it is literally better in every single way to Azumarill but there was a reason besides the level gap why Sphiel is in the PC and Ferix is in my team even though I wanted Sphiel to be in my team see ever since the start I thought about replacing Ferix with Sphiel even when I caught Ferix way back when I wasn't too happy I wasn't really too happy with her do you know why? it was because I thought Azumarill was a bad Pokemon. I am... I'm going to go around and talk to people because I need to find the dive agent. I'm not sure... I'm not sure where I can get the dive agent but... I'll talk to everyone in Moss Deep. Maybe someone will give it to me. So like I was saying, I planned on replacing Ferix with Walraid every time from the very beginning and I thought Azumarill would be a pretty shit Pokemon but on every step of the way I was proven wrong. Oh Team Magma, guess that's what I'm doing. This is new. This did not happen in Ruby or Sapphire version. Every step of the way I was proven wrong that no, Azumarill, my Ferix is actually a pretty pretty good Pokemon. And now I have actually grown attached to Ferix. I don't want to replace him with Lorelei the wall rain anymore if I do have to replace him that would be because the sad reality of Ferix's death happened and I don't want that like I said even though wall rain is a better choice in every single way imaginable I still want Ferix on my team And all of this I warded better in the previous episode partly because it was really late at night and I think sleep deprivation made my tongue a bit looser than it normally is but yeah that's just it is what it is I guess I should put Andromeda up here So yeah, Ferix is going to stay 
on the team so is everyone so is everyone else going to stay on the team level 31 zubat ha i actually should switch switch to andromeda andromeda can handle it I think Andromeda evolves at level 44. I may have gotten it confused with Walrein, but yeah, I think Andromeda will evolve at level 44. Let's just wait and see. It's a Puchiena. I am going to throw Blaze out there because Blaze could use the XP. I am going to, because I don't have any super effective Pokemon that I feel comfortable with using against Joan, the shitty discount Walrus final gym leader. I am going to over level the shit out of my Pokemon. Sunder is a bad uh, choice for an Amel. Should I put Phoenix in or should I put Andromeda in? I'll put Andromeda in to get the extra XP. Phoenix is really high level. I want to get Phoenix to level maybe 50. Oh cool, Levitate. That was a very dangerous move. But Phoenix has Levitate, so... Nah, nah. I guess I will grab a breath. I want to get everyone to level 50, maybe 52 by the time I challenge Juan. Of course I will battle the gym trainers and again make a prediction of what his level is going to be. My prediction of adding 5 to 7 levels to gym trainer levels hasn't failed me yet. So, I will actually Giga Drain this one. Are you an admin? No, you're just a grunt. After battling you, I am going to heal up. Oh, you have a mighty Anna. You have stronger Pokemon than the rest of the grunts. No matter. All right, wanna see something cool? This is overkill, but you wanna see something cool? Sleep powder. Put you to sleep. This is a combo I'm going to I'm planning to use on the Elite Forest setup. No, 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 I may I misclicked. I did not want solar beam. Ah oh, well. More experience for Sander, I guess. Okay, you have two more Pokemon left. Now I am going to show you my technique, my setup. First you sleep powder. Then you use a sunny day to power up fire type moves. Oh no. Oh good, you're stupid. And now that sunny day is powering up my fire type moves. I am going to switch to Blaze. That was an unnecessary risk I took right there. You still use takedown, huh? Now watch this. Four times not very effective probably, but this should knock you out. Overheat.
there. Next Pokemon. Another Mighty Anna. My special... My special attack is really lowered from overheat. But can I overheat kill this one again? Let's try it. I do have Sunny Day going. Let's try and take advantage of that. Yeah, I took a risk, but that's the setup I plan on going with. That's one of the setups, I mean. Another one is with Zatina's Toxic Stall. You know what? Let me pause this recording for a bit. I need to check something out. On second thought, I don't need to check something out. I am going to do some off-screen training. What kind of off-screen training? You'll see. First, move Pokemon. Lorelei. Replace Ferix. You'll see in a second why. Now, can I fly? That's the question. Oh, I need Winona's badge. Well, no matter. I will surf. I will teach. I will teach Lorelai surf. Oh, you know Aurora Bean. That's nice. And I think I like Ice Ball better than Aurora Beam, to be honest. Encore makes no sense. I am going to put Lorelei in the daycare. Eh, maybe Pooh give him an experience share as well. Give her an experience share as well. Getting that level up just a little bit closer. This is for extreme emergencies only. In the event that for some unfortunate reason, Ferix dies and I have to replace him, which is something I don't want to do. But if I do have to do it, I don't want to spend that time training our Lorelei again, at least not as much. Let's go with Giga Drain. Plus, this is a good chance to grind levels as well. This is a good excuse to grind levels off of these wild Pokemon. And maybe a few trainer battles as well. Huh, I don't believe I fought you before. Did I? Andromeda's up front. Yep, I did not fight you. Let's fight you. Chinchao and Carvana. Chinchao is part lightning type, which with ground types should be super good. Giga drain the Carvana, dig the Chinchao. I got a big chunk of XP from that. Sleep. And Andromeda's like forever. Sleep forever. With dig. Oh yeah, I registered them on the Pokenave. Well, I guess I missed some trainers. See, I battled these guys last episode. I say last episode, as if you guys saw it. 
Oof. Yeah, get the bike. Hang on. Doesn't Lilikov have like... Doesn't Lilikov have like a port or something which can take me to Slate Port easily? Oh, come on. Service isn't available at present. God damn it. Guess I'm doing this the hard way then. At this point, I wonder if it will actually be worth it to just go to Pacifilog. Alright, Giga Drain this mighty Anna. Hang on, does anyone want to battle in this region? In this route? No, they do not. That is fine by me because I wouldn't battle them anyway since I'm kind of in a rush. Swill's design is cute though. That's only a level 11. I am not even going to fight it. This is a level 26 Shuppet. I mean, I'm more... I'm twice its level, but... Whatever. Actually, am I twice its level? No, I'm not twice its level. Twice its level would be 52. Encountering another thing. And it's a line one. Fully evolved Pokemon give more XP. I am going to solar beam this one. It's going to take longer, but I'll still solar beam it. This is a semi grind, semi serious episode, I guess. Now, hopefully, all of this does not go to waste as soon as I finish recording and find out the recording is corrupted. Yeah, I'm still very salty about that. You can drain it. Lorelei is still hasn't leveled up. Does anyone want to battle me? Here. No one. Let's heal up a bit. I believe there are people that want to battle me in this out west of here. So I guess I'll do that. But first, let's see now. Pokemon. Take the experience here from Lorelei. Yuri has grown by eight, yes. Oh. I have both Yuri and Warmi inside. Let's put 
you away for now. Going to take Warmy out. Warmy is level 46. Interesting. No, I don't want to take the other one. Let me check Warmy's stats real quick. Huh, your special attack is actually pretty good. You know Silver Wind and Giga Drain and Wild Wind and Attract. Attract is a good move. Let's put you in the PC now. Check out Lorelei. Put Lorelei in there. There, now Lorelei is going to get passively gain levels. I'm not worried about moves because I can teach it Ice Beam and Surf with my TMs and HMs. Alright, now let's try and battle everyone. I have a full party. Andromeda and Sunder are up front. Let's go. That is a Makuhita. I am going to put it to sleep. Meanwhile, let's Dragon Breath the Zigzag. I am actually going to faff about right now. Since Sleep Powder has so many PP, I am going to use that again. But Dragon Breath finishes it off. Tackle, that's the move you used, really? Battle you next. You're probably going to send out a dot tree or something. No, it's a do duo. Still not a good matchup for Sunder. I am going to switch to Felix. Yeah, let's switch to Felix. I'm not worried about Pursuit. Ice Beam. Yeah, almost everyone in this route wants to wants a rematch. Since you have six Pokemon, I am going to put you to sleep. Mad at mist. I am going to put you to sleep. What moves does Zatina have? Yeah, pull Zatina out, get her some levels, and then just sweep your whole team with my overpowered Crobat.
Strangely, that did not do as much as I thought it would. Either that or Loud Red is especially tanky. Let's take to the skies because I doubt I can one shot you as well. I am not worried one bit about you. Oh, you flinched. Now you're dead. This thing raises dark type attacks. So, taking to the sky once again. And glad I did. But, fly missed. Okay, that was a series of, of unfortunate events. I'm going to pretend that did not happen. Why is, why is my attacks miss? Why are my attacks missing? I don't get it. That was a weird battle. Now this thing I will fly. Inner focus prevents flinching. Hmm, good stat increases. stop talking now because my throat is getting tired. I'm going to do something risky and fancy at the same time. First, put you to sleep. Oh, that's not good. Never mind. I'm not going to do anything risky or fancy. I don't know why I sent out Andromeda. I just realized Andromeda isn't going to be much help against Joan's gym because they might have ice type moves. And ice is super effective when it's a dragon. I'm not sure how I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm just mashing A at this point. Because I am twice its level. I'm 20 levels higher than it. It has no chance of beating any of my Pokemon. Ha, I did not one shot the Rosalia. Honestly surprised by that.
And finally, the Pokemon that will give me enough experience to level up. Now that this ordeal is done, I can run all the way back to Moss Deep and finish the episode after I beat the Magma of course. Now that it's changed a lot of settings in OBS, I wonder if I can record Doom now. I'll have to give it a test run later. And we have here an electric. Doesn't this area also have minor trick? I forgot at what level Sunder is supposed to learn Petal Dance. Probably at level 45 or something. I don't know in this generation if the daycare works based on the real world time or like it did in generation 1 where uh, the number of steps you take is what determines how much experience your Pokemon in the daycare get. It's probably step based still. Ah, Zetin is asleep. It's such a shame that I don't have any item that can infinitely restore it from sleep. I'm part poison type bitch. I wonder if these guys also want to battle. Yes, they do. Level 36 Bloom, huh? Where to put it to sleep? Yeah, I am going to set up here. And I keep hitting fucking solar beam. Yeah, that was pathetic damage. Let's fix this so I don't make this mistake ever again. And to think all this could have been avoided if I just hit sunny day when I was supposed to. Does moonlight actually do anything? The sunlight is strong with this one. Flame to us. Let's finish it off with style. Overheat. Wasn't it supposed to be raining in this part? Oh, 
All right, I'm still paralyzed. Go, Zatina, kill this Vreloom. Yeah, that's right, that failed. Hey, are you one of those guys that want to battle with bad Pokemon? I guess not. I am actually going to heal at the research center because it should be faster than a Pokemon center. Yep, definitely faster. I said research center. It's the weather institute. Winona is still pretty lonely at the gym. Again, I regretted my choice to skip Winona so quickly. Mostly because it's locking me out of using Fly. But I'm too stubborn to yield now. And it's a mighty Anna. Just Giga Drain it. drain this thing too. Like I said, this is a good excuse to grind for more levels. I want to be at level 60 or 65 when I challenge the Elite Four. One or two more battles and I get to level up. Let's heal at this Pokemon Center real quick. was a mistake. Ooh, a level 34 tentacle. That should be worth some good XP. Giga Drain. I should have gone with Solar Beam. And 
and I'm level 43 now. I don't think I should have gone that way. Most Deep is clearly not that way. But I am now close to Most Deep. There we go. Let's heal one more time before we continue on our crusade against Team Magma. Add the Pokemon. What's it called again? Space program or something, most deep space program. I don't know. Is it only going to be two floors like it is in Ruby? Somehow I doubt it. Okay, hmm? yeah, let's go. Three versus one. No issue. At least I hope not. Time to get a bit serious. Zubat means I am sending out Felix. No more fooling around this time. Pokemon do you have? Also one. And it's a mighty Anna. Again, no fooling around this time. Blaze? Would you do the honors? Oh no, I did not mean to hit overheat. I was mashing and accidentally clipped it. part psychic type. Looks like something Dere would be good at. Lower the attack to weaken ground type attacks. Also rock tomb, but you missed. Now finish it with bite. Yeah, this is only this is the same layout as it was in Ruby. Choose Pokemon. No. Oh, uh, I see my order is fixed. Alright then, start off with Ferix, follow up with Sunder, finish with Blaze because Blaze is my ace. Okay, this I did not expect. Thought this thing didn't start until Gen 4. This type of tag team battles, I thought this was a Gen 4 exclusive kind of thing. Oh, 
Oh, I should have cancelled battle and got an experience share. Oh well. Golbet, do I have a counter to that? Of course I do. Phoenix, who else? Light screen, that's going to help out a lot. Ice beam, the Golbet. Hey, as long as it doesn't confuse my Pokemon, I am okay with that. And Swagger missed. Ooh, nice defenses. Ha, huh, that did not one shot, but it did freeze. I will take this chance to switch to Blaze. This looks like a good chance as any to do that. How do you defrost? How? How? How do you defrost in one turn? And how do you know to use wing attack on blaze? It's fine, Meta. Killed it. We are fine. Ooh, two mighty Anas. Let's go, double kick. The higher level one, of course. And it was a crit. Another camera up. Do you two have the exact same Pokemon? It sure feels that way. Alright, let's double kick the camera up. Hmm. I should have switched when I had the chance, I think. I'm level 43 now. I was not worried for a second because I'll tell you why because light screen and reflect are up and now is my chance to switch I will I cut it a bit too close but like I said I was not worried about that at all Now it's time to surf. Last Pokemon, what could it be? Oh, so you also have a Crobat. Stop spamming protect. So, are my Pokemon still injured? Yes, I need to heal. I 
honestly don't know what thumbnail I should design. Oh, I know. I just had an idea. It's going to reference the double battles. I genuinely had no idea that this thing, they did this thing in Gen 3. I, for the longest time, I thought this was an exclusive Gen 4 thing. Well, not exclusively Gen 4, Gen 4 onward thing. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway guys, that's it for this episode. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Dislike it if you did it. I'm Zulkares and I'll see you next time.